ditching the Modern Warfare 2. So I know some people are like, uh, I told them I was doing this, the uh, holographic, uh, what is it, holographic power thing. But I, don't know, I used to play this weapon in the beginning, so now I was like, let me play this again. So, I, you know, I'll be switching the weapons on and off, you know, when you're playing with a bunch of good players, like, that I play with every single day. Well, I don't play every day, and that's another problem. But when you play with good people all the time on your team, it's hard to get good scores because, for one, everybody on your team is just as good or as better than you. So, it's all about who has a uh, good game and whatnot. So, this particular game, I had a good game, so it was, uh, it was a nice game with the holographic. And I, I like the holographic because the holographic on the uh, TAR, a lot of people get it confused. They, you know, they feel like the, the TAR is like an SMG. So they don't, they lose the confidence in that weapon. They don't realize that the tire has the most bullets with the most accuracy downrange, you know. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, for an assault rifle. So, th I mean, that's why I've been using it lately. Although it's really loud, and a lot of times I get away from weapons with a silencer because when you're playing on a non-dedicated server game like Modern Warfare 2, that one or, ex one or two extra bullets that you need to put in somebody with a silencer is the difference between life and death. So sometimes you get discouraged and you don't want to use the silencer and therefore you go back to the without the silencer and then you're not with the silencer so everybody knows where you're at. You've got shitty teammates, you just can't pull off a good game and it's just fucking, you know, it's all... The game is all circumstance. So if you're in a good game and you get into a good circumstance, then you, you know, pretty much could pull off a good score in this game amongst good players. So, uh, that brings me to my next point. I mean, anybody who hasn't seen my video called, uh, what was it called? Nuke Real or, or, uh, uh, Mental Nuke, yeah, that's what it was. If you haven't seen my Mental Nuke video, go ahead and watch that video. Go search it. Because I'm going to leave this comment for the people who constantly sit there and like fucking these are the people like the fucking trolls on this site they wait they like watch every single one of my videos they fucking mark every one of them down and as soon as I don't say what I do or whatever like they fucking that's their whole life is to follow fisticuffs and like find anything that's wrong and then they plan it out and they'll, they'll say I'm unsubbing and all this other fucking shit Go watch my mental nuke video. I don't give a fuck if you unsub. Go ahead and fucking unsub. Okay, buddy? Because you're not a fucking subscriber in the first place. One of my my subscribers won't say dumb shit like that. You know, if you can't handle, I mean, one-man army. No, it's, it's the point like this. I'm going to fucking do whatever I want to do. It's my fucking blog. You don't like it, don't watch it. Go somewhere else. You can't handle the fucking truth. Step off, hit the bricks, bitch. Because nobody gives a fuck about your trolley ass comment. Really, it doesn't. It's fucking insignificant. So the point is this: that you know, I'm gonna do a whole series on cheapness. You know, I'm gonna. Every side has like, you know, nobody can tell you what, what, what is good, what is bad. They don't know what the fuck that really means. Further is good is the opposite of bad. Bad is the opposite of good. The same fucking thing in these games. There's fucking cheese ball. There's the opposite of good players. If you don't know both aspects of the game, those are the fucking people who whine all the time about the game because they don't know how to counterbalance that situation. Those are the people who get beta play one fucking weapon, don't test everything out, don't understand counters for every weapon, and then cry to the developers that this is overpowered, this is wrong, this is wrong, because they don't test everything. They just see what they get blown up with, and they can't leave their comfort zone to discover new things. So if you're going to be a pussy-ass little bitch, then fucking go somewhere else. Really. It's just, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to do what I want to do. If I want to run around and fucking be cheap, I'm going to fucking my next video. I'm going to use Commando. Commando nuke, bitch. How you like that? I fucking, I do every fucking cheap thing there is. 
because I'll show you the right way to do it, how to counter it, everything. The purpose of watching these videos is to understand it. If you understand it, fine. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't fucking say it. It might be for somebody who just bought the game that don't comprehend that fact yet. Or don't have enough time to play the game yet. So this fucking video or videos is not an attack or a personal gesture to someone who already knows everything about the game. When I make these vlogs for people, you know, who don't understand everything. So keep your fucking negative fucking trolly ass comments to yourself. Nobody cares about them. No one. You're not, I'm not fucking gonna lose a wink of sleep or worry about if you fucking unsub. For every time somebody says they unsub, 50 other people like what I just did. So when you leave, 50 other people are like, oh, that's awesome. I'm glad he did that. I learned something. So you're the fucking dumbass. You know, there's people like, you don't fucking get it. You have no wisdom. The type of people that probably haven't paid a fucking bill in their life. Anyway, it's your boy Fit. Hope you enjoyed the um, tar with the uh, holographics. Till next time. Yeah, it's your boy Fit. Peace.